In some reactions, reactants are entirely converted into products. In most systems, there is an establishment of equilibrium between reactants and products. In a state of equilibrium, the rates at which reactants and products are formed are equal. An equilibrium system can be mathematically described by a constant called K. In this reaction, K is equal to this expression. Since they are relatively constant, pure solids and pure liquids are ignored in this expression. The, the only things that are involved in this expression are ions and gases. KSP is when a solid dissociates into its ions. The value of Ksp is given by the concentrations of those ions raised by the molar coefficient. Ksp is a solubility product, which is the limit of the solid solubility. In the demo we are about to explore today, a solid dissociates into its ions, and thus K is equal to the product of its ions according to their exponents. In order to create strontium chromate from its ions, we took their nitrate and potassium solutions, respectively, and pour them together in a beaker. As we take a zoom in, we realize that there is nothing but liquid. But after three hours, we looked at the bottom and we found precipitate, strontium chromate. When stressing the system with excess product or reactant, the system shifts in a certain direction to relieve the stress. This is called Le Chatelier's principle. In an aqueous system of strontium chromate, we will be providing strontium hydroxide to apply stress. This is as known as the common ion effect. When dissolved in water, strontium hydroxide dissociates into strontium ion and hydroxide ion. The strontium ion creates an imbalance. To reestablish re this equilibrium, the excess strontium ion consumes some chromate to create the precipitate strontium chromate. Today, we face a problem of contaminated water. This water that we are experimenting with today is contaminated with the carcinogen, the chromate ion. By using the principles of KSP, we will use the strontium ion to create the precipitate strontium chromate. With filtration, we will be able to filter out the chromate ion in the form of the solid and have clear water once again.